what I think a lot of people don't realize is California is a no fault state. So you're not going to walk into a courtroom and hear a judge tell your spouse, you were a bad husband, you were a bad mm -hmm. wife. You know, there's no real wrongdoing when it comes to the division of property. Um, courts don't care if there were extramarital affairs or, or anything like that. And, and sometimes that's a hard pill for, for people to swallow. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when looking at what the support calculations are, the property division, um, when that comes into play, you know, a court wants to see an equitable division of property. So what, you know, is there a dollar value that you would put on where if there's a dispute, let's say a discrepancy, maybe ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, um, settling that through mediation, meeting in the middle or litigation, can you weigh into your thoughts on, on which approach is better? Well, I think 100% mediation is better if you can resolve it amongst each other, because if you can get through it together, uh, you're not going to be paying uh, a trial attorney in litigation. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, look, every divorce is different. You know, it's it's hard to put an exact, you know, <laughs> numerical value on <laughs> on every divorce in general. But, you know, whether it's $20,000, $200,000, $2,000,000, dollars you know, it's, it's ultimately going to cost you more if you end up in that, you know, trial format or, you know, using litigation. So, mediation is the way where I think both parties can win the most um, would be my recommendation. And even if you're in mediation, you can still have, and you know, you can correct me on this, Patricia, but um, you can still each have an attorney in the mediation process. Or, you know, what I think is best is if there's a, let's say there's a business, right? Um, and you're not sure like what you said and what the value is, you know, you can hire a forensic accountant to work on behalf of both of you. Um, and then you can split the cost of the forensic accountant rather than each hiring one and have them arguing with each other over, oh, is this a business expense or is this a personal expense? You know, and going back and forth, you know, charging, I think forensic accounts go around $350, $400 an hour. So, you know, you can work together with a forensic accountant, each with your own attorney. I mean, that would probably be more expensive, but if you're, if you're uncertain, um, you know, you can go that route. 